we've got a person who's going to ride a bicycle. So from A to B, they're going to go that way, and then they are going to come back. On the way from A to B, uh, they tell us that the average speed is 10 kilometers per hour. So that's how fast the person is cycling. And then on the way back, they cycle at 16 kilometers per hour. Then it says find the average for the entire journey. Now I know for a fact, I know even I thought, it, thought about it like this back when I was in high school. If it's 10 kilometers going that way and 16 going that way, then isn't the average simply going to be 13? Because 13 is directly between 10 and 16. It turns out that that is not true, and the reason is the following. I want you to think about this carefully. Which of the speeds, 10 or 16, will the person cycling spend more time doing? Would they spend more time at the 10 km per hour speed, or would they spend more time at the 16 km per hour speed? Well, well done if you said the 10, because think about it. They're cycling a little bit slower, so they're going to take a little bit longer to get from A to B. So they're going to spend more time doing 10 kilometers than they are 16 kilometers. So because they're going to spend more time at the 10 kilometer per hour speed, we will find that the average is going to be closer to 10 than to 16 because they're spending more time doing that. So the way to handle this is the following. You should know that speed is equal to distance over time. So what you do is you handle this equation, speed equals to distance over time, but you do it for the entire journey. Okay. So they tell us that the distance between A and B is W. So that's W, and then coming back is also W. So what is the total distance that this person is going to travel? It's not W squared. It's just W plus W, which is 2W. Okay. Now, for the time to go from A to B, we need to be careful. So I'm just going to say time from A to B plus the time from B to A because that's your total time, right? But now we need to look carefully at how to calculate the time from A to B. Well, we should know that time is equal to distance over speed. So for A, B only, it's going to be W and the speed is what was the speed from A to B? It was 10. Now your time from B to A is also going to be distance over speed. And so that's going to be W, but over 16. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those two expressions and put them into here. And so what we're going to find is that the average speed is going to be equal to 2W over W over 16 plus, sorry, W over 10 first plus W over 16. Now, what happens is the following. At the bottom, you should put those two together. So it, you could almost think of it like this. Speed is equal to 2W over, now this is 1 over 10 W plus 1 over 16 W. You can think of it like that if you want. And so you're just adding the bottom together. It's 1 over 10 plus 1 over 16. And so that's going to give us 0 0.1625 W. Now what's really cool is that these W's are just going to cancel out. And so the average speed is going to be 2 divided by 0 0.1625. And that's going to give us 12.31 kilometers per hour. And didn't we say that the speed is going to be closer to the 10 than the 16? And so 12.31 kilometers per hour is our final answer.